Oh, stove hidden right there. Oh, workbench hidden right there. Oh, this hidden right there. And meanwhile, none of that affects your actual ability to get in, open and close the door, sleep in the bed, climb the ladder, all that stuff. Uh, wow, Minecraft 1.9 is cool. Well, I guess that's your boat now. What is going on guys? Unite the Clans here back in yo life with another episode of Minecraft Building with Unite the Clans. We are back. Uh, back at our new place. This is the new continent that we arrived at in the first episode of the season, episode 20. And uh, we sailed from Ocean's Gateway over there to this new place, which I've decided I am going to call Hollow Grove. It's actually the same as the name of the song you are about to hear. And I've been building these all over the frickin' place. Uh, I've also been doing some building, guys. I live stream uh, this Minecraft. Those guys are going to be there for a, quite quite a while. I live stream uh, this Minecraft Let's Play. And while I did, we did some building around here. I did some off camera, but I'll take you on a little tour. I mentioned having a vision for this place that I wanted to build. And I'd mentioned sort of hobbit holes, people that live underground, maybe are in tune with the earth, uh, maybe very Native American-like. And I had this vision of sort of a Stone Age village where uh, all the buildings are, are down sort of off the surface of the earth and protected and this is what i came up with i made this little ring we're gonna make all kinds of builds off it this is step one uh i just have a few rooms and we're gonna get more into these as we go forward in this series this one definitely needs a lot of work i really haven't done much to it at all um this one's a little bigger yeah we'll have a look so i'm thinking fireplace this is sort of prototypical of what i have in mind but a big central room like this fireplace here and then we get some side rooms and they all have these little portals up to the surface it's kind of cool uh it's a neat idea it's still a work in progress this is my favorite one because it's got like a sort of space up there uh this room untouched really except it still has the portal to the top and uh and then one last room here at the back this again everything here work in progress i'm thinking these people, their main diet is going to be from pumpkin. Because I was trying to think what grows out here in the wilderness, and the only thing you really find is pumpkin. So I've gone and planted a bunch of seeds along the tops of these berms. And uh, I'm thinking the people will eat pumpkin. Maybe they'll keep some chickens, and maybe they'll grow some sugar cane or reeds. I can never remember what it's actually called in the game. So those are the main things that I have growing around here. We've done a little bit of wheat. This is really temporary. I'm not picturing these people eating uh, a diet of bread. I think I think we'll be feeding them off the pumpkins and maybe uh, the eggs from the chickens, but we'll we'll mess around with that. Um, I'm th yeah. So I don't know. I get too many good ideas in my head right now. If we get if we can find a way to keep the chickens on top of these berms a little bit, we could maybe have a way to have the eggs fall through with hoppers. It'd be neat. We'll have to mess around with it a little bit. Uh, but what we're going to do today, instead of working on one of those uh, uh, little huts, is we're going to make ourselves a hut. I made a really minimalist one for myself up in the... Here, let's grab my map. Up in uh, the... or towards the south of this continent. And we're eating a little bit of pork chop right now here. Let's clear out the inventory the slightest bit. Put you down there too. Okay, cool. So... Yeah, down towards the, uh, the the south here, I have made myself a little base. And I've been practicing getting between those bases with a little bit of a flying squirrel technique where I ladder up a tree, I put on this elytra, the cape that lets you glide, and I, uh, I jump off and I just glide across this frozen wasteland. So far, it's been pretty fun. And uh, I'll take you up so we can get a quick look at this little minimalist house I've been working on. I'm not so good going this way. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Not the smoothest. Well, it's work in progress. I guess I got to make sure I don't starve to death here. Let's put that meat on the bar. And I'm making these all over the place. And hopefully, we can get out to the location I wanted to take you guys to today. I'm excited to be back in this series. It's sort of uh, 
I forget what it's like to play Minecraft on a regular basis. I think it's good for me. Uh, I really do enjoy it. Here, let's uh, back up and we'll sprint. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gliding. Gliding right across. There you go. Smooth, smooth as butter. Uh, it's good for me. It's uh, I get some sort of peace of mind, and there's a lot of satisfaction involved when you set out to build something and you actually build it. So I messed around with a few designs for like a little minimalist hut, because if you saw where I was sleeping when I was doing most of the building at Ocean's Gate in between season one and season two. It's just a bed surrounded by a bunch of torches, like out here in the middle of nowhere. I didn't have a real safe spot to get to at night. Uh, and I wanna make sure we have that if we're gonna be doing a lot of building here at uh, Hollow Grove. See, chickens everywhere. So I'm trying to work with what we've got. This forest full of chickens, full of pumpkins, and full of sugar cane. And I'm thinking, oh, yes, yes, here's another one of my platforms. Uh, so what I'm going to do as I, uh, sorry, as I continue to build these is put uh, layers of foliage, sort of canopies on these uh, so that they blend in more. Because this one looks probably pretty stupid right now. And we are headed, I should look at the map. We are headed pretty dead south this way a little bit. Oh, no, I think it's this way a little bit. Either way. We don't have much to give us a running start up here, so I'll try and do my best. There we go. We're gliding at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Minecraft is good for me because it gives me, like I said, oh, God, that was a rough one. Uh, a little, <laughs> little peace of mind. I mean, bouncing off trees at high speed isn't really peace of mind, but uh, I enjoy it, and I enjoy playing it with you guys. When I do this series... I have told stories and given advice before because the game so takes care of itself that I end up not talking about the game and I end up needing other things to talk about. And we did that on this week's live stream. I stream on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Unite the Clans Live. Y'all can go check it out. Give me a follow over there if you're into my channel on YouTube. Um, we're almost at my uh, my base up here, I think. Yes, almost there. Um yeah, I end up talking, telling more stories, and I think it's good for me. It uh, improves my abilities as an entertainer, as a commenter, as a Let's Player. So here's my mini house. Now, I built it with one of these launching towers, uh, and this is, I'm sort of calling it Flying Squirrel Hut. Um, and we're going to recreate this, or a slight variation on this, at our current base, at the main base for Hollow Grove. This was just sort of a launching point for me to continue exploring this continent. It's not really much out here. Um, maybe we'll do some future builds out this way, but for the time being, I'm not thinking about it. I like these little mini houses and I want to build another one. So what you got, you got your stove right here. You get your crafting table right here. You get storage right here. I got an extra elytra in case I ever sleep in this bed and then die and need to get back. And then, uh, what's the other thing? A bed. You get a bed right here and it all opens up into this tower. And the way that I've done the tower, I added these little, these are just trap doors. And these down here are fence gates, but they actually look like they're supporting the roof. This is a trick I've used. They work good as shutters, as all kinds of things. I like them. I think it just looks cool. And we build all the way up the tree, and it is getting late. So why don't we, why don't we bide our time? Oh, jeez, forgot about that. We'll bide our time until it's officially dark enough to sleep. Then we'll sleep, and in the morning we will glide back. We will glide all the hell the way back there. Now. I don't have my view distance on very high, and there's good reason for that. At the moment, Minecraft keeps crashing. It has something to do with my GPU and NVIDIA, but I won't bore you guys with that stuff. Until I get it worked out, we're, we're playing with a, a view distance of 10 chunks, which means you can't really see the other base. Should I risk crashing the game? Yeah, it's almost nighttime. Let's turn up the settings, and I'll see if I can't. Just for a minute, I won't do any exploring. Well, hopefully the game won't crash. We'll find out. And we'll see if we can see all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I think that's the spot right there. Uh, so what I've done in the past is I've wingsuited myself over to this side because it's easier. It's planes. I'm going to try and go straight. But is that all the way back? That might be a little middle point. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it is hard to tell. I think we might be a little more that way. That might not be it. Okay, anyway, well, we have we can go to sleep now. And we will. Uh, 
I think, guys, this is a good time for me to take a quick break. What I will do is come back to you in the morning. We will jump off the top of this tower. We'll head back to Hollow Grove. And in a half an episode, we will build one of these little mini huts. Rise and shine, geeks. Uh, the game did crash a couple times back to back. I think by lowering that view distance again, I've mainly solved the issue. But you can see when you get up here that you really don't know where you're going. So that's why I keep keeping this map on me. And we're going to go this way. We're going to aim for the open space out there. And hopefully I'm going to nail this first jump. Ready? Whew. Yes, I'm gliding. I'm gliding. Let's descend a little bit, pick up some speed. And we're going to go to the right of all this. I'm going to pick up a little more speed with some descent. And we're going to level out. Level out. And oh, we're not going to make it all the way there. Slow yourself down. There you go. Okay, cool. That is the way to do it. I've learned with a little bit of practice is as you get to the end there, just quickly look back, turn around, slow yourself down. Because if you keep going straight and you try and just nose up to decelerate, it doesn't always work. Um, but the good news is this, these planes actually get us really close to getting back to the base. So I can glide all the way down. I've made it, believe it or not, I've made it all the way out here before. I've made it this far when I've jumped off. And I think if I were to just keep making that tower a little higher, I could maybe make it all the way back if I could stick to these planes and come around the corner. We'll see. But here we go, back at Hollow Grove, our base. You can see I've got uh, the sugar cane growing. Uh, and we are gonna set about making ourselves a little mini base. now. I've done this a couple times in creative before I built that little one there. And I'm going to mess around with this one too, but I'm not going to hold off getting rid of these little things. Oh, give me that back. Uh, I'm not going to hold off breaking this stuff up because, uh, do we leave that chest? We'll leave the chest for now. Uh, and oh yeah, I do need a crafting table. I think we got one over here. If I'm not a f total fool, do we not have a crafting table? I have one somewhere over here now that I've broken that last one. I'm just trying to get to the easiest, simplest way to get to a crafting table. There it is. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn some of this stone, a lot of this stone, into stone bricks. And we're actually going to use stone bricks for a bit of this build. I think that'll do. I'll take the rest. I don't know if that's going to be enough. So maybe we'll get a little bit more stone cooking uh once we've got a furnace set up i don't know i'll mess around with it i uh i'm patient and i don't mind playing around with a build idea but this one is small enough that i guess we'll just try and do it on camera and i'll see if i can bring you guys along for the ride and get this thing done before the end of this episode which i try and go about 20 minutes or so in these episodes i think we gotta go one higher yep All right, and how many more of these? Oh yeah, I definitely need to get the old furnace going. So the furnace was just out. So the bed's gonna be here, chest is gonna be here, door is gonna be here. That means furnace, I think, is right here. So let's throw our furnace down. We'll throw some coal in it and we'll get, um, yeah, maybe a half a stack cooking. That way we'll get a little more of this uh, uh, smooth stone, smooth stone, what do you call it? Stone brick uh, into the recipe here. And I'm thinking the bottom of this, we're going to go with uh, straight spruce wood. And spruce wood is going to be used pretty commonly throughout this build. So uh, because we have tons of it, so <laughs> I, uh, I'm happy to use it. Uh, it's one of my favorite woods in this game. It's got a uh, really nice, rich, warm color. Okay, so what isn't going to work is there's going to be a yeah there's going to be a chest in the ground here so we need to make the sides look like they are not dirt in the bottom just in case you see around it because the chest doesn't take up a full space so we're going to do something like that and then we'll get the chest on the hotbar and we'll place that if i made one i don't see one in the inventory i thought i had made a chest okay well we'll put down a, we'll put down a spare crafting table because I do have two and uh, we'll quickly whip together a chest Just do one of those. I swear. I swear I had one, but we'll, we'll wait and see All right, so the chest is gonna go in the ground straight like that right now. We need more of this brick 
Uh, let's mess around with our, our thing here. Yeah, that'll get us started at least. And we'll, yeah, that's how you do that. The building on camera, I tell you, it, it makes me nervous. It's a little tense. Uh, so the, this will have to go here and, whoa, that's not what I had in mind. Uh, I love the texture. The one that you got right there, actually this one right here, I love that there's a little bit of variation in the texture of these blocks. These are all the same, but in this texture pack. Man, does that one little change, B-dubs equals a genius, but does that one little change really make a big difference? Uh, hell yes, it does. Uh, it's cool. All right, and we have enough to make a new bed. So let's do that. Put that there, put that there, and we'll get a bed. And the bed will go in the exact same spot it went last time. It'll be our step up into the ladder. Speaking of, I think we can put one more ladder piece right there and have this still come out the way we want it. And now the next job is trap doors. I'm gonna have to make more of those too, if I'm not mistaken. So that one goes there. That's kind of cool. And then the door is gonna go in between. Is the door in my inventory? Yes, it is. So the door, I'm thinking, goes like that. I hope that's the design I had. And I know that we end up going, nope, like one of those. And you build around that. I'm pretty sure that's how I had it. So going to need more spruce, I guess, and more spruce stairs. So let's mess around with our new crafting table. We'll get a bunch of spruce wood, and we'll just do this. There. Uh, and th it's hard to uh, hard to sort of make a really small base. Uh, it's <laughs> it's harder than it looks. I know people that play on servers where you get lots and you have a really limited amount of stuff you can do uh, with your lot. Oh, uh, they they get really good at building on say a four by four or a you know a six by six lot. And you go, what's the most efficient use of space? Can I build something that actually looks cool with not much space at all? And the answer is yes. I'm not sure this is the coolest looking building, but there are some amazing tutorials out there on how to build small. And it usually involves some of what I'm doing here. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to like micro builds, but it involves a lot of like hiding things in plain sight where you've got oh, stove hidden right there. Oh, workbench hidden right there. Oh, this hidden right there. And meanwhile, none of that affects your actual ability to get in, open and close the door, sleep in the bed, climb the ladder, all that stuff. Um, put you there. Put you there. Oh, that's not exactly right. And I hope uh, you guys are going to like, I hope honestly that you guys are going to like this series being more about building. In the first time around, I did explore caves and all kinds of crazy things like that. Uh, we, you know, uh, would do exploration only episodes and things like that. I'm not sure you're going to see all that much of that. Uh, episode one of this new season, I didn't, uh, oh, I guess that happens sometimes. You just fall off. Episode one of this, I didn't do a build, and I felt bad about that because my new goal is, yes, build and build often. Um, you know what we could do here? I'm thinking do a little of that and that, and we'll chop you out. Is that, start? that is starting to look good. And then we'll, I wonder if this would look better or or... Something like that. I wonder how that's going to look. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty solid. Now, it's a bummer that you can't put a torch on there, but you could put them on the front like that. Um, I don't even know if you need to. The place is pretty simple as is. Uh, why don't we make... Oh, no. Uh, yes, let's make quickly a few more trap doors, and I'll do the same thing I did on the other side. Is that how you make the trap door? It is. Let's get a couple of them going and close this door behind us. And we'll put, uh, like, it's almost like a little chimney on this. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to make a slight change to make that chimney part of this. Uh, but I think I got it figured out. Where are my stairs? I ain't got none left. Okay. 
we're driving towards the end of this episode. I think I've almost got this build done here, guys. Um, and building on camera is definitely something I'm going to have to keep keep working on, keep practicing, because it is a challenge to continue to talk and walk you through every step of a build. I mentioned this in a live stream that usually what I get to do is do the beginning of a build, show it to you, and then take my little commercial break in the middle of the episode and then do more of the build and then show it to you. And then if I, that's it, that's it. I, I wait till it's nearly done and I can finish it in a few minutes. And uh, I come back and I, sh I, I show you the finished build. That's usually what I do uh, when I've built in the past, but building the whole thing on camera, that is a new challenge. But one that I'm looking forward to messing around with. I kind of like the way this looks. It's very minimal, it's pretty simple, and pretty similar to the last one. Um, and it works. I mean, uh, it's not doesn't have to be complicated. What you need is a place to store your stuff. We got that. You need a place that's secure from monsters. At the moment, we have that. A place to craft place to cook and a place to sleep which we can now do and the bonus of all of this these little flying squirrel huts is that on top of all that oh yeah the real downside is that they spit you out on the outside but that's that's whatever it's a kink it's a design flaw the real bonus is that you get to do this you get to climb this ladder get to the very top slap on your elytra your cape and just go flying. And this is what I mean about putting a canopy on the top. It gives you a little more running. Yeah, yeah. And you just drift. And you just float. Oh yeah, what a great way to get around. Especially if it's short distance from one build to another, from one tower to another. That would be a fun way to do it. Uh, guys, I hope you like my micro build. I think that's going to do it for this episode of building with UTC. I'm excited to be back. Whoa, hello to uh, doing this again and i'm excited to have you guys with me for simple builds like this one and for more complex builds like what i have in mind for uh, hollow grove behind us there as we go forward in this series but like i said that's gonna do it let me get up here that's gonna do it for this one i'm utc and i'll see you all in the next episode come on there's two There's three, and yeah, there's four. And we've done it, we've done it. We built a little base. We do need a fire pit.